Okay, hello you wavelengths, welcome back once again to fermions. Uh, this is fermion number three, uh, same as fermion one and two. This is synthesis created by us and then resampled using 3D microphones techniques. Now, uh, this instrument has only two modulation wheel positions. It's kind of supposed to be a lead instrument. It doesn't really accomplish that task. It's more like a useful, crazy, spatial, um, more kind of high-pitched sound as opposed to Fermion 1 and 2, which were basses, essentially, right? So, um, but it's a lot of fun. Um, you can put the modulation wheel all the way up. You, you, you get a little bit of, um, I don't know, maybe like a harpsichord sound, perhaps. Uh, but I've made sure that the pitch bend goes way above, like, and below, like, maybe one octave, two octaves, I can't remember. So it can do very crazy stuff. And then, when you put it down, the modulation wheel, you're going to get a loop, and you're going to be able to control the speed of the loop. And, uh, again, the, the, the pitch bend and everything. But it's going to change dramatically, right? <laughs> And well, you're not hearing this, but that loop is going all over. So when you put the modulation wheel down, the loop is moving around us and above us in this uh, 3D sound setup, which I have, which is a 17 channel studio, which works for Adobe Atmos and Ambisonics. But that's important. And the, the, the kind of harp sequence sound is more stable. It's more like in the front. So, um, yeah, you just do crazy stuff, right? That's it for now. <laughs>